following on from the first light linking tutorial, there's a couple of extra things that I'd like to talk about. And the first one of these is the include mode. Because in the first tutorial, we just talked about exclude. Now, what happens when you use include? Well, if we um, select our shader that's dedicated to our petals, and we select our light group that we created, the petal light group, and then set it to include, well, what happens is, you can see it's got a bit darker than it was before, and the reason is that it only includes the lights that are in our selected light group, in which case, in this case, pardon me, it's just the one light. So what happens if I turn that light off? Well, the petals go completely black, because with the include mode, um, in this case, there's only one light being added, and when you turn that light out, there's nothing illuminating the petals except for the GI. So that's something to remember, that when you use the include mode, it will only include the lights that are in your light groups. By using the include mode, you could um, achieve exactly the same result that we did in the first tutorial, but just in a different way. So I've selected the original three spotlights, which are the ones that are shining on the vase, the table, um, and the flower in the original setup. And I'm going to create a new group and I'm going to drag and drop these light items onto that group and I'll just call this group Spotlights. So this is um, a default light group, if you like, that doesn't include this final fourth spotlight which uh, shines on the petals. And now if I go back to the base shader and the texture layers to the light linking, what I'm going to do is choose the group Spotlights and Mode Include. And now it's going to include the three spotlights and not the fourth one which shines on the petals. If I go back to the petal shader, what I need to do here is Light Group None, Mode, Exclude. And here you are, we've got exactly the same result as in the first tutorial, but just built differently. So I'll just prove it. If you keep your eyes on the preview, turn that fourth spotlight on and off. The last thing I want to talk about is that um, lights can be in multiple groups, so you don't have to have one set of lights in one group and then a different set of lights in another group. Any one light can be in any number of groups, uh, which offers a lot of flexibility. So what I've done is I've created a variation on the scene with this sort of red point light adding uh, some very obvious red colour to the scene, and I'm going to create two new groups. So first one I'll just call Group 1, and I'm just going to add the initial three spotlights, drag those over onto my group, and then create a second group, this time just group two, with those same three spotlights, and I'm going to add the point light as well, and let me drag those over onto group two. So group has got these three lights, and group two has got four lights. So if we head over to the shader tree, and we can play with the base shader to start with, so if I just choose group mode include you can see that that doesn't include the red light it's just got those three spotlights included and if I go to group 2 that will add the spotlight and what we could do is add a shader to the vase and then drag that above the base shader and uh, see if we can uh, put group mode include and you see by selecting that light group that doesn't contain the red light we exclude the red light from that shader and if we select group 2 it's now included so as you can see there is a lot of flexibility with this system even though there's also quite a lot of setup work involved with it but I um, hope you found this helpful and thank you very much for watching